Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jag and in today's class what we're going to cover uh, is basically our grade 11 math content and we're going to uh, do some questions on adding and subtracting rational expressions. So if you remember in one of the last videos what we covered was just uh, simplifying rational expressions. So this is uh, very similar. Again, make sure you keep on practicing uh, your factoring methods and then you'll get really good at doing these questions. With that, let's get started. So let's try some of the questions uh, from the textbook here, okay? So first, I'm going to put up a question that is quite simple. So let's try this. So it's 4 over 5x, okay, minus 2 over 3x, okay? So I noticed that this is a fraction, okay? And what we're going to do is uh, take a common denominator. And if you look really closely, the common denominator here is just 5x and 3x, Okay, and uh, I'm just going to keep it like this, okay? What we're going to do is basically like cross multiply, okay, these two numbers. So the 4, I'm going to times it by 3x, okay, on the top and the bottom. Just like in a fraction, this is exactly what you would do when you are subtracting the fractions. And the 2, I'm going to times that by 5x on the top and the bottom, okay? And you can see the reason we're doing that is so we can get a common denominator of 5x and 3x, okay? So on the top, what I'm left with is 4 times 3x, so 12x, minus uh, 2 times 5x, which is 10x, okay? Does everyone see how to do that? Okay, and uh, in the next step, what you usually have to do with these rational expressions when you're adding and subtracting them is I just need to expand and simplify the numerator and I can keep the denominator the same. So if I look at the top here, I have 12x minus 10x, which is equal to 2x. Okay, and the denominator is just going to stay the same, so 5x and 3x, okay? Uh, anytime you do any of these questions, it's always going to say simplify, state any restrictions on the variable. Okay, again, the restrictions are coming from the denominator. Okay, so in this case, I can see that x cannot equal to 0. Okay, anytime you have a term like this, like 5x or 3x, and the x is just multiplied by one number, it cannot equal to 0. Okay, so in this case, if we did 5 times 0, the whole denominator would equal to 0, and uh, the rational expression would be undefined. Okay, and the same thing with 3x. 3 times 0 is 0 the entire denominator is going to equal to zero. All right, good. So let's go to the next question here. Okay, so I'm going to just take this off. Okay, and uh, the questions I'm picking from the textbook is from the review section here. Okay, so let's try this question. I have five over x plus one minus two over x minus one. Okay, now if you look at this rational uh, expression, okay, don't get confused, okay, the denominator uh, has a binomial, and this is just going to be your uh, common denominator. So I'm going to put x plus 1, x minus 1, okay, this is my common denominator here, and again, I'm basically just cross multiplying. So for the first fraction, I'm multiplying the top and the bottom by x minus 1. Okay, I usually don't write it in the denominator, okay, but just in case you get confused, I'm putting it down here. If you look at the second fraction, I'm going to multiply it by x plus 1 on both the top and the bottom, okay? So now I can see uh, that in the numerator, I just need to distribute and uh, collect the like terms together, okay? So I'm going to put some arrows here. We're distributing the 5 uh, bracket x minus 1. So 5 times x, 5x. And then you're doing 5 times negative 1, which is equal to negative 5. Does everyone see that here? Okay. Uh, when you are subtracting the polynomials, okay, make sure you're distributing this negative sign. Okay, so you see how it's minus here. When I actually distribute this 2, I have to use the minus sign in front of it. Okay, so it's actually negative 2 times x. Okay, negative 2x. And then it's negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2. Does everyone see that? So don't get confused with the signs here, okay? So I'm going to make an arrow. 
Okay, uh, we're just going to put the like terms together. Okay, so I'm going to do 5 minus 2x, so 3x. With the numbers, I'm doing negative 5 minus 2, negative 7. Okay, again, keep the denominators the same. So x plus 1 and x minus 1. Okay, this is the final uh, rational expression here. Okay, I'm going to write down uh, the restrictions again. Just take a look at the denominator here, okay? In the first brackets, I see x plus 1. So I'm going to put x cannot equal to negative 1. Okay, in the second bracket, I have x minus 1. So x cannot equal to positive 1. Okay, I don't need to write that two times, okay? I can just write it uh, by itself here, all right? At the same time, uh, make sure you do remember uh, to look at the intermediate steps here. In this question, the intermediate steps have the same denominator, okay? However, in some questions, uh, the intermediate step will have more than one denominator. I do have to put the restrictions from those intermediate steps at the very end, okay? And make sure you're stating the restrictions at the end with your final rational expression that is simplified, okay? Are there any questions there? Okay, let's try this next example. Okay, let me take this off. And uh, this next example is going to be slightly different, okay? And what we're going to do here is, uh, it looks like in the denominator, I do have to uh, factor this, okay? So I'm going to write the question on the board. So it's one over x squared plus three x plus four. Let's do a plus one over, okay? I have x squared plus x, plus 12, okay? So this is my rational expression. Again, note down, this time I'm adding these two rational expressions uh, together. So I'm just gonna change the sign to negative four, okay? And x squared plus x, uh, let's change the sign here as well. So minus 12. Okay, again, this is just going to change uh, the factors, okay? And uh, make sure you can factor it out. This looks like a simple trinomial, okay, for both expressions. So I should be able to factor out very easily, okay? However, I'm not going to factor it uh, right away in that second step, okay? So what we're going to do is just cross multiply this. So the one, I'm gonna times it by x squared plus x minus 12. Okay, in the second fraction, I'm going to multiply, cross multiply, so x squared plus three x minus four. Okay, does everyone see that? All right. So I'm taking this one and I'm multiplying it by the bottom fraction. I'm taking this one and multiplying it by the opposite uh, bottom denominator, okay, of the first term. Okay, I hope that makes sense, okay? We are just basically multiplying it to get the common denominator, all right? So again, this is just like you uh, distributing the one here, okay? I'll just make arrows. And we can see it stays the same. So we're going to put x squared plus x minus 12, okay? And in the second step here, in the numerator, again, we're just distributing and multiplying everything by 1. It does not make a difference here. Plus x squared plus 3x minus 4, okay? And uh, in the denominator here, okay, what you can do, okay, is the uh, product and sum, okay? So we can do it in this step, okay? Let me put this in brackets so we don't get confused, okay? And the reason uh, that you do have to factor the denominator is because I need the restrictions, okay? So uh, let's try this one here. The product here is negative four, and the sum is positive three. Again, because these are simple trinomials, I do not need to show my work here. Most teachers are okay with you just writing out the factors, okay? So I'm looking for two numbers. Uh, it has to um, multiply to give you negative four. When I add it, it should equal to positive three. So I can see the only way I could do that is four times one, okay? And in this case, okay, the four is going to be positive. And I know that because the sum has to equal to positive three, okay? So we're gonna use positive four, negative one. Okay, is everyone okay so far? All right, let's try this one. The product here is negative 12, and the sum is positive one, okay? 12 has several factors. Here I'm going to use 4 and 3, okay? Again, here x is going to be uh, positive, or the value will be positive 4, okay? Because the x is positive 1 here in the middle, and negative 3. 
And again, if you're not uh, okay with just writing out the factors, you could show your work on the side as well. Okay, most teachers don't mind. I wouldn't put it into the actual expression here. All right. So with that, let's make an arrow. Let's write it on this side right here. Okay. Uh, we are basically putting uh, all the like terms together in the numerator. So I'm going to do x squared plus x squared. Let's go equals. So 2x squared. Okay. And uh, right after that, what we're going to do is put the x's together. 1x plus 3x, which is equal to 4x. Okay. And lastly, we're going to put the numbers together here. I'm doing negative 12 minus 4. Okay which is negative 16. So this is the numerator because we put all of the like terms together. And uh, the denominator here, we're going to keep it the same. So I have x plus 4, okay, x minus 1. This was from the first expression. And from uh, the second one that we um, factored out, we got x plus 4 and x minus 3, okay? And uh, so in this case, this is actually going to be uh, your final answer here, okay? And, um, and the reason for this is basically we did not need to factor, okay, at the very beginning, okay? And then we just like left this the same, all right? If you want, you can take out a common factor uh, from the numerator. So we can just uh, write that out here, okay? So we'll just take out the 2. So it'll be x squared plus 2x minus 8 on the top here, okay? And uh, so we can like keep this, okay, on the top. Uh, on the bottom, let's keep this the same as well. So I'm just gonna rewrite all the factors one more time. Okay, and just to show you that you can actually um, do the numerator and factor it out, okay? Just to maybe uh, show your work here, okay? And I'm just gonna show you if I do factor, the product of the top is negative 8, and the sum is positive 2, okay? So I can do uh, 4 times 2 here, okay? And uh, in this case, I can see that the 4 is going to be positive, okay? So we will do the actual factoring for the numerator. So I have x plus 4 and x minus 2, okay? Uh, the reason I am factoring it here, okay? is so it cancels out. So I'm just going to take this off on the side here. Okay, we're factoring it, okay, just to see if um, something from the numerator and denominator cancels out, okay? So I'm going to rewrite it here. So I have x plus 4 and x minus 2, okay? And on the bottom, I'm just going to rewrite all my factors, okay? I have x plus 4 and then x minus 3. Okay, and I can see that something does cancel out here. I'm going to take out the x plus 4. Okay, and um, nothing else cancels out. All right. So we're going to be left with 2x minus 2. And on the bottom, I have x minus 1, x plus 4, and then x minus 3. Okay, and uh, so the reason, again, it's a simplify. I have to make sure I completely simplify this rational expression. All right, and I'm going to state the restrictions on the variables here. It's x minus 1. Okay, so x cannot equal to 1. If it's x plus 4, just change the sign. x cannot equal to negative 4. Okay, x minus 3. x cannot equal to positive 3. All right. And again, even though uh, the x uh, plus 4 here did cancel out, okay, but I can see that does not change the restrictions here or it doesn't add an extra restriction because I had two of these x plus fours, okay? However, if in this intermediate step, this uh, value, okay, of the expression that cancels out in terms of the factors, if it was different, I do have to make sure that I put it in my final answer as a restriction, okay? All right, so let's just recap, okay, with the different uh, steps that we did. Especially for this question, you notice there were a lot of steps, okay? So I was given my actual expression at the beginning. I just had to simplify it. So I did a common denominator, okay? And on uh, both of the denominators here, remember, they had a simple trinomial. I do have to make sure I factor it, okay? And then I cross-multiplied. 
And for the numerator, okay, uh, we just simplified and uh, put all the like terms together, all right? After you put the like terms together, you do have to make sure you factor the numerator as well and see if something cancels out in uh, the numerator and the denominator, okay? Um, if it's a complex trinomial, see if you can take out a common factor first because it does help to uh, simplify the expression. And when it's a simple trinomial, I can just write the factors right away. Okay, and I can just like cross out whatever cancels out at the end, all right? And then again, make sure you do restate your final rational expression with the restrictions right beside it, all right? So that looks good. And if there are no questions, that brings this video to an end. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see everyone in the next video. Thanks. Bye.